Good morning, Bill Panoff here with uh, Cruise Control. And well, today we're gonna to be talking about one of the most years anticipated event and how it's now going virtual. But how does that work and, and what can we expect? Joining us today is our good friend to answer all the questions, the Global Brand and Event Director for Sea Trade Cruise Events, Kiera Georgi. Kiera, how are you? I'm very well, I'm very well. Happy to be here, Bill. Nice, nice to see you. I imagine you're on the other side of the world somewhere, but through the magic of technology, here we are together. I am. I'm in London. I know oh, the last wow. time, actually, I think you were probably one of the last people I saw at the end of February when I came down to Miami. So we know that COVID-19 uh, shut down the world just before Sea Trade uh, Cruise Global 2020. But you've managed to pivot and create a virtual experience for people and businesses in the cruise industry. Can you tell us a little bit about the new platform? It's very exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's exciting for all of us. I think uh, a lot of us have learnt new things in the last six months and ventured into new avenues. So uh -huh. we're going to have our first virtual event, October 5th to 8th, um, called Sea Trade Cruise Virtual. It's on a platform um, that's actually a matchmaking platform. And it was going to be our matchmaking platform at Sea Trade Cruise Med this year. And they have also pivoted. And so what was just there as a tool to help people connect, um, they've now pivoted to become a full-fledged event platform. So we're really excited uh, when we conceptualized this, we really thought about what makes our events so special. And ultimately there are four pillars that we work by, education, sourcing, um, innovation and networking. And we've just tried to replicate those four pillars, but in a virtual setting. So. Um, we're excited for everybody to get on the platform and start navigating around. It's, um, it's, I feel like it's pretty intuitive. I had my mother look at it today. She said it was pretty intuitive, so fingers <laughs> crossed. One of the main events each year, obviously, is the, is the keynote panel. Can you tell us a little bit who's going to be on the keynote panel this year? Yeah, we're really excited. Of course, you know, one of the main attractions is always to watch the big four. And by big four, I mean Frank Del Rio from Norwegian, Arnold Donalds from Carnival, um, Richard Fain from Royal, and Pierre Francesco Vago from MSC um, come together and speak. And so we're really excited that we're actually going to be able to do that virtually as well. And our very own Anne Kalosh will be moderating that session. Oh, and I can't really think of anybody better to, to do that. Any hints as to the main topics for the keynote panel? Um, I think it's going to be a lot around, um, you know, the, the CDC had, um, had a submission deadline that was end of September uh, for the public mm -hmm. uh, to offer up ideas and and thoughts around how the, the cruise industry could come back online so that deadline will have passed um, so i think that there'll be there'll be talks around that and how the u.s market how that could come back online um, and maybe a better idea on time frames when it comes to that but i think having msc on there um, and actually most of the lines now at least have a sub brand or their main, you know, one of the brands underneath the corporation uh, that has started sailing in Europe. So they're at least starting to understand what the protocols are that they're putting in place that are most successful and those that aren't. And so I think there'll be a lot of lessons learned, hopefully shared with everybody um, on, on what they're seeing is working and not in Europe right. that can be applied to the rest of the world. Sure. The cruise ship has seen, the cruise industry rather, has seen a lot of hardships, obviously, in the last six months. And how does Sea Trade Virtual help businesses affected by the, by the shutdown? For us, I think that, that's, that that was the main thing that Sea Trade Events did, was, was bring the community together. Right. And, you know, I know, Bill, you've been part of this community for a while. I feel like I've been part of this community for a very long time, too. Right. Um, and, and we really do love coming together, and we do love seeing each other but also working together and becoming friends with one another and we really are a community and sure. so what we're trying our very best through sea trade cruise virtual is to bring that community together so that they can start supporting one another um i was i took part in the in the clear event this week they they did a virtual conference this week and i think it was bud Dahl who said it perfectly that this is the moment where you know collaboration is key 
um, and and we're going to succeed together if we work together on this. Right. And sure. so uh, for us, you know, part of why we picked the platform we picked was for the matchmaking facilities. We want to enable people to be able to meet, um, and and we're really hoping that this platform will allow for that to happen. And and hopefully our conference program will also give them the insights that they need, you know, to, to get their business back on track. Do you see virtual shows as a, um, as the future or a temporary fix in, in the meantime? Um, I think what it's going to do is it's, we're going to end up going into a hybrid world. So uh, events in the future will have the live component, but there will sure. be a, a, a digital component as well. I think that that's where we're heading. I mean, at least for me, because I have to think ahead, that's kind of my job, sure. is, is, is seeing what would future Sea Trade Cruise live events look like and look alike, look like, sorry. And, um, and that would be in a hybrid model. So we would still have a live event, um, but we would give people the option uh, to, to join certain elements of it virtually. Sure. Who, should, who should join the virtual event? I mean, anyone in the cruise industry, really. Um, right now, when it comes to our exhibitors, we have exhibitors from all of our different uh, sectors. Um, you know, we cover, we cover the ports and destinations, um, IT, entertainment, hotel ops and concessions, design and ship interiors, ship equipment, safety and security, environmental and health. And those, those sectors are still present um, at this virtual event. And, you know, the cruise lines have been registering. We, we opened registration a week ago and it's, it's been a really good uptick. And I can see that there's a good variety of, of cruise lines ready registered. So I'm really hoping that the, 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 the whole community is come, gonna come together that week um, so that, yeah, we can, we can really all start working together and rebuilding. One thing's, would you like to tell our viewers about the sea trade and your expectations for the future of the cruise industry? Um, I mean, from a sea trade cruise perspective, you know, I, from the very beginning, Mary Bond, um, who's, who's the, the head of, of the sea trade cruise division right. and myself, um, came together and, and, and asked ourselves that question of, of where does sea trade cruise fit into everything that's going on right now. Um, and ultimately everything that we've been doing so far has been about how can we help this industry and how can we help it bounce back. Um, and so just, yeah, I would, I would say that for us, we're very optimistic. Um, we love, we love the cruise industry. We want to see it succeed. We want to see it, um, come back to, to where it was before. Sure. But we, I'm also really personally excited to see the innovation um, throughout, the, the, the creativity that hopefully is being incited by everything that's been going on the last six months. You know, I, I think there are a lot of ports and destinations around the world and, and companies and cruise lines um, and supplies that should be taking advantage of this time to think about how do they want things to look like when we go back to normal. Sure. Because I think that's, that's the thing. We're not necessarily going to go back to normal. It's going to be a new normal. So what is that new normal for you? And what would right. you like that to look like? And that's the part I'm really excited about um, because I, I do, the optimist in me is hoping that we come out in an even better situation than we were before. Right. So. Well, we're all very excited about the, the Sea Trade Global virtual event, and I will be there uh, anxiously awaiting it and excited to, uh, to see everyone come together virtually. We may follow you shortly after with the Portal Party virtual. It's going to be <laughs> tough to drink the pina coladas virtually, but we're going to figure out our way. Uh, Gary Georgie, it's a pleasure having you here, the Global Brand and Event Director for Sea Trade Cruise Events. Hope to see you in person very, very soon on a cruise ship. Yes, I would love that. I would love that, Bill. I know. Take care. All the best and uh, stay well and healthy and uh, best of luck with the event. Thank you.